Prince Charles let slip his real feelings about Vladimir Putin by comparing the Russian president to Adolf Hitler, claimed a Jewish museum volunteer after a conversation with the Prince of Wales. Putin today insisted that Russian interests and security are non-negotiable, hours after US President Joe Biden warned of the beginning of a Russian invasion of Ukraine. On Monday Putin declared that Russia had recognized the independence of two rebel-held southeastern regions of Ukraine, Luhansk, and Donetsk. In doing so the Russian president tore up an eight-year peace treaty with Ukraine. The West responded by announcing a range of sanctions against Russia with the US targeting Russia's elites and its foreign debt in particular. Meanwhile the EU and UK announced sanctions against Russian banks and individuals. In 2014, Putin also received enormous backlash from the West after Russia made moves on Ukraine which included the annexation of Crimea. Allegedly the Prince of Wales, who traditionally remains neutral on political matters as a member of the royal family, compared the Putin foreign policy to the Nazi aggression which led to World War II. During a royal tour of Canada Charles spoke to a woman who fled the Nazis and lost members of her family during the Holocaust. Charles and Camilla were paying tribute to World War II veterans and their families during a tour of the Museum of Immigration in Halifax, Nova Scotia. Marianne Ferguson explained to Charles that she fled to Canada with her family shortly before the Nazis annexed the free city of Gdansk in 1939. After meeting the Prince of Wales, Miss Ferguson claimed, the Prince said, and now Putin is doing just about the same as Hitler. I must say that I agree with him and am sure a lot of people do. But I was very surprised that he made the comment as I know, royal family members, aren't meant to say these things. I told the prince that while my family and I were lucky to get a permit to travel, many members of my relatives had permits but were unable to get out before the war broke out on September 1st. The comments were allegedly made just weeks before Charles attended the 70th anniversary of the D-Day landings in Normandy, which was also attended by Putin. In response to Ms. Ferguson's claim a Clarence House spokesperson said, we do not comment on private conversations. But we would like to stress that the Prince of Wales would not seek to make a public political statement during a private conversation. The comparison Charles allegedly made between Putin and Hitler caused a stir in political circles. Mike Grapes, who at the time was Labour MP for Ilford South condemned the Prince of Wales, insisting that if he wished to make controversial statements he should abdicate or stand for election. Mr Grapes added on Twitter, monarchy should be seen and not heard. However Deputy Prime Minister at the time Nick Clegg said Charles was free to express himself. He told BBC Breakfast, I have never been of this view that if you are a member of the royal family somehow you have to enter into some Trappist vow of silence. Ukraine's foreign ministry urged all its citizens to leave Russia this week, and warned that escalating Russian aggression against Ukraine could limit the assistance of their consulate. The military in Kiev also announced it was calling up all army reservists aged between 18 and 60. Meanwhile Moscow has also reportedly evacuated its embassy in Kiev.